Hi, my name is Hannah and I'm one of the exercise physiologists here at Upper Health Collective. Today I'm going to be talking to you about blood flow restriction training using our occlusion cuff um, and how we can use it in rehab and to increase our performance. The occlusion cuff and blood flow restriction training can be used for a lot of different patients. Um, we often use them in the post-surgical realm, so after people have had operations um, and struggle loading in weight-bearing positions. We also use it in our chronic pain patients or our deconditioned patients that may struggle early on in their rehab. And we also use it for people who have a straw, poor strength capacity, maybe post-injury, and they're looking to build strength um, on either side of their body. So blood flow occlusion works by reducing blood flow in a certain limb. So we attach the cuff to your leg or your arm. It allows blood flow in, but it reduces blood flow out. So when we have reduced blood flow and reduced oxygen to a muscle, it means that we have a buildup of lactate because there is a reduced amount of oxygen in our muscles. This means that it stimulates growth hormone and protein synthesis, which makes our, the metabolic demand of our muscle have to work a little bit harder. So there are a lot of benefits of using the occlusion cuff. Um, one of them is that there's a 200 to 300% increase uh, in our production of our growth hormone that's not actually seen with normal training. Um, we also have a heavier reliance of our type 2 fibres and they're being recruited more often. This basically means that they're stimulating more of our strength and our hypertrophy outcomes, which is our muscle growth. This is all done at about a 30% load of what you normally do when you're regular training. So you're working uh, less harder essentially um, when you have the cuff on, but you're still getting the same or if not better results. So one of the main questions that people may ask is, is blood flow occlusion training safe and is it something that I can do? Um, so blood flow occlusion training is very, very safe. Uh, it has no greater risk than normal regular exercise. And there's been studies that have shown that there's been no negative impacts on our vascular system, so our blood pressure um, and our veins and arteries. Um, there's been no studies that have shown that it takes any risk of clotting um, or any peripheral nerve damage or issues that people may have. And now I'm going to show you what it looks like to have the occlusion cuff on and how we use it in our training. So this is our cuff. Um, it is from a company called the Occlusion Cuff and this is the elite version of it. Um, so basically you can use it on a few different body parts. Predominantly um, it's attached at the top of the hip for your quads and your hamstrings and your lower body or you can attach it quite high for the use of kind of your biceps or your triceps or your upper limb. Um, so today I'm going to show you how we use it on our lower limb. So we wrap it around nice and high. You want it really snug and then it will sit in there. So what we do then is we uh, pump up the cuff and your practitioner or any of the physios, exercise physiologists here at Upwell, they will have an um, example of how much they're going to pump it up for you, but usually to about a 7 out of 10 um, pressure is usually recommended and that can differ from certain people. So you pump it up and then you can just tuck the handle into your pocket while you're training and that's how it works. So how it feels, it does feel quite tight um, and a lot of my patients that I've used it on and myself, it does feel quite challenging when you're working out. Um, it feels like this side of your body is really fatigued, which is kind of what you want. If you go back to what we were talking about um, with the lactate accumulation and having less oxygen, that side of the body is, is generally working a lot harder. Um, so you will feel really fatigued on this side. So I'm going to start with some um, squats and obviously my left side is going to be the one that's affected. And I can just squat like normal, go about my training. Same thing again, if you're working with a trainer or an EP, they will work you through what they need to. And right about now is when I start to feel really fatigued in my quad and it starts to get a little bit challenging. But working with the occlusion cuff, you want to have lots of endurance based reps so you can really kind of get the effect of the metabolites circling in, into your muscles. So usually you do a couple of rounds. Um, there's some certain protocols that you can use to get different results. Again, that's something that your practitioner can help you with. Um, and then after you're done your sets, um, I usually get people to just slowly 
deflate the cuff. Yeah, my leg is a bit tired. <laughs> um, so you get them to slowly sort of deflate the cuff, just let the air out. Take it off, and then usually I get people to do a bit of a walk as well, just to get all the normal blood flow back moving again. Thanks so much for tuning in to our video about blood flow restriction training and the occlusion cuff. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to send us a message at any time.